Hello, I'm Scott Anderson, author of Cap Converter. What I'd like to do today is to show how to quickly install Cap Converter and get it running. Cap Converter's new home is on Groups.io. Oops, Groups.io. Once you're on to Groups.io, if you have a very small window, you may be seeing something like this. Find the files area. There it is. And click on it. From here, you can locate the CAD Converter tar file. This is the main program. Other contests are supported also, but there's a number of contests that support it right in the program itself. I like to right click or control click on the file. That way I can select where I would like to download the file to. I like putting things on the desktop when I'm working quickly. So I'm going to do a save. And indeed, it gave me something on the desktop. That's all we need from Group.io right now. So I'm going to suggest that we close Safari. A tar file is just a compressed file that contains usually many other files. Double click on it, and the Mac knows how to extract everything. This should give you a nice CAD Converter file folder that has all of the CAD Converter contents in it. When you've extracted the file, you don't need the tar file around anymore. I'm going to move that to the trash. CAD Converter comes with a CC Contest folder. This, as the README says, must be moved into your Documents folder in your home directory. This contains all of the recipes for all the supported contests. I already have one, so if I try to move it into the Documents directory, you can see I've already got a contest folder. Always read a README when it comes with a new program. And also note that there's a large documentation directory it includes another README about the whole history of the program and a quick introduction on how to make your own recipes, how to construct your own contest support. Several of our members have already created contest support for contests that weren't initially part of the original package. To run CAD Converter, you must have Java installed. When you double click on the jar file, it may say something like this. Cab Converter jar can't be opened because it's from an unidentified developer. It thinks it's from Groups.io. Okay. Well, the way to get around that is to open the system preferences, go to the security and privacy area, enter your credentials if you are asked to do so. Then it will say, Cap Converter Jar was blocked from opening because it's not from an identified developer. Well, it's from me. Open anyway. I'll say something like this, Cap Converter Jar is from an unidentified developer. Are you sure you want to open it? I'll say open. And now Cap Converter has started. We don't need the system preferences anymore at this point. And I'm going to close this since we don't need that anymore. Cab Converter allows you to put all of your personal information in once and then just keep reusing it. Your call sign, name, address, city, state, postal code, that sort of thing, all can go in here. And when you've typed it all in, select Save Personal Info. Now it'll come up each time you begin Cab Converter. Don't really need to look at that very often, so I slide that divider up. Select a contest. If this list is empty, it means that you did not <laughs> you did not put the CC contest directory folder in the uh, in a documents folder, so it's missing. If it's missing, this will be empty. I'm going to select a contest. I'm going to select the North American QSO party. I'm going to say that I'm in the CW one single op, low power, 
This just says that it's the contest recipe made by me, NE1RD. To convert a, a, a file, and I have one here, MLDX at ADI, that I had exported from uh, MacLoggerDX previously, I open the ADIF file that contains all of my QSOs. Now they show up here. And you can see the call of the people I talked to, the frequency I used. Well, I'm sorry, I should have used SSB. We have serial numbers, and but really for this contest, it's just sent and received strings. To create a CAB file, all I need to do is say generate the CAB file. It'll take all of the information from this pane, from this pane, and all of your QSOs and create a single file. I'm going to put it on the desktop as well, just so we can find it easily. I'm going to save it as contest.txt. Save. We're now done with cab converter. And contest.txt contains all the information we need to submit to a contest sponsor. You can either uh, attach this to an email message or copy it out. If you double click it, it'll open it up in text edit. This is what one of these files looks like. And you can copy paste this into a web page if that's how the contest sponsor supports the program, supports CAB files. Thank you very much for listening. If you have any questions, of course, post a message to the Groups.io board. Thank you, N73.